Hey everyone, this is Riddle Hacker AJ Raven with my September 2017 book and comic book wrap up. So I was able to read some books in September, so I'll be talking about those. But, but first, let's get uh, go over the comic books that I was able to read. First, we are going to start with America issue number seven. I am enjoying America as a series, and in this issue, we get to know more about America Chavez and her mothers, like how their how her mothers met and also about her grandmother. And Wiccan was also mentioned in this issue because Wiccan is the one who, who created that utopian parallel where America was born. Moving on, we have Astonishing X-Men issue number three. So this issue focused a lot on Wolverine and with Bo both Farouk and Professor X Psyche trying to control Wolverine. Next, we have Bane Conquest issue number five. The only reason I decided to read this issue is because I saw Catwoman on the cover. And yeah, it's okay. I'm not a huge fan of Bane. Then we have Batman issue number 30. This continues the whole war between jokes and riddles arc. And yeah, we have issue number 31. Again, it's so fun. Like the war that they are showing Batman face is very interesting. And also I like the focus that's being put on Kite Man. And it's like a C and a D-lister. He still played a very major role during this war. Fenter issue number 18. In this issue, Storm, I guess, is no more in the series. She went back to the X-Men. And we have Anika and Ayo, Ayo, these two lovers, like trying to help find out, trying to help uh, T'Challa, and T'Challa and Suri end up figuring out that the Claw is the major antagonist. Then we have Champion Fission number 12. This issue focused a lot on Cyclops and him feeling not very awesome because of what his future self did and stuff like that. Then we have Marvel, Deadpool, like Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe again. Really nothing interesting. I enjoyed the first series, but this second series is just boring. Then we have Doctor Strange and the Sorcerer Supreme, issue number 12. A very enjoyable series. I am kind of disappointed that this series has ended. I liked seeing Wiccan, even though it was the future version of Wiccan. I liked seeing Wiccan in a comic book series because I don't even know where this dude is right now. X issue number six. If you guys haven't picked up this issue, this series, I implore that you do. It's awesome. It focuses on the X Men that ne don't necessarily have the powers that would be great for the front lines, but it is still an, a very enjoyable series so in this issue like uh, quentin takes a few of his classmates outside and apparently the villains are of the hellfire club are trying to buy a nanotech technology that can hurt mutants then we have iceman issue number five it was okay this was like bobby came out to his parents and he's trying to explain where he's coming from but his parents just don't want to accept it. But Bobby's father does accept it by the end. So has Iceman battling the Juggernaut. Then we have Injustice issue number 22. Again, an awesome continuation of the whole Alfred coming back to life and Ra's al Ghul wanting to kill humans and protecting wildlife. Again, a continuation of that. Also, in Justice number 25, we get the introduction of Supergirl in Khandak, and Damien goes to meet her. So, yeah, Damien is going to either Damien will stay with Supergirl or he'll society. Then we have Jean Grey, issue number seven. Jean, after her little trip with Doctor Strange, Jean is trying to, like, Jean now has this manifestation of the older Jean in her mind that's trying to warn her about the phoenix approaching and scarlet witch comes in to help jean a little with her powers then we have justice league and the mighty morphin brain mighty morphin power rangers issue number six this was a very enjoyable issue yeah if you are a fan of the mighty morphin power rangers and the justice league pick this up then we have marvel legacy issue number one 
this introduced the avengers of 100000 bc or whatever like the first avengers that had odin and the phoenix and everyone so yeah they all of those avengers ended up working together to beat the celestial being but now in the future someone ends up finding that celestial i guess it's loki and the new ghost rider is also getting visions but yeah i'm not sure where this now what kind of era the marvel universe will see but it's interesting again the black widow is dead so i don't know what she's doing on the cover also storm wasn't so i don't know why what she was doing on the cover i don't like it when marvel uses storm as their token black female character then we have generations issue number one miss marvel miss marvel this is where this happened during the events of the secret empire the final issue and kovic sent some characters back to the past to meet their other selves so we have uh, miss marvel kamala meeting up with carol denver's miss marvel and it was an interesting little take then we have miss marvel issue number 22 Kamala f figures out the identity of the person who's attacking her. But yeah, Miss Marvel, again, a very awesome series. Nightwing, 20, issue number 29. I only read it because this was a tie in to Dark Knight's metal arc. And we have the Batman that loves and up defeating or capturing the Teen Titans. So it's now up to Nightwing, Damien, Harley, Croc, and Green Arrow to figure out what to do ways issue number one this is a continuation of the previous series and yeah it makes sense because hulu is like releasing the runaways tv show for streaming so it made sense for marvel to like create a comic book series for them then we have scooby apocalypse issue number 17 again an enjoyable issue then we have street fighter versus dark side stalkers issue number five Issue number four, you guys need to read it if you are a fan of Chung Lee. Then uh, Suicide Squad, issue number 26. Again, I only read it because it was a Dark Knight's Metal tie-in. So they end up trying to fight uh, Poison Ivy, who has one of the metal cards that the, Joe, the Batman that loves ends up giving her. Remember Harley and these people, like the Suicide Squad and Damien and Nightwing and, and Oliver Queen have to work together. Then we have the Teen Titans Dark Knights Metal tie-in. This was the first tie-in of the series, so it's followed by Nightwing, and then that's followed by Suicide Squad, and then that's followed by Green Arrow. What I figured that I noticed was that uh, Batman that laughs, you can see him here, he doesn't transform Raven into a demonic form. He transforms Starfire and the rest into demons, but not Raven. So I guess he doesn't want to because if Raven ends up transforming into a demon, she'll probably end up summoning Trigon. Then we have Taken, issue number four. This is the last issue in the miniseries. Again, a very enjoyable issue. I guess these events occurred before the events of Taken 7. If you are a fan of Zayu, check this out. Then we have the Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, issue number 24. We have a Dinosaur Ultron in this one. Avengers issue number 27. I don't know why I even read this issue. Then we have US Avengers issue number 10. The Secret Empire is is done and the Costa is like he has he has like resigned his control over AIM and I guess Dr. Tony Ho is supposed to be the new supreme leader. Anyway, Cannonball's wife comes in and she tells everyone that Cannon that Cannonball is still alive and then they need to go rescue everyone then we have weapon x issue number eight then we have x-men blue issue number 11 i only read it because it has blood storm in here yeah again blood storm ends up saving or helping the x-men team then we have x-men gold issue number 11 i've already reviewed this the link to that will be down in the description below x-men gold issue number 12 i did not review this series this this was like a one shot on this alien thing that they encountered way back in series one two three issue one two three and apparently he's some sort of a hitler alien and i guess he'll be back near issue number 20 or 19 to attack the x-men 
So yeah, that's that for all of the comic books that I read in September 2017. I read a lot of comic books. Now coming to the books that I read, I think I read like four books. So it was sent to me by Quattro Group. I read it in September, but I wrote a review for the Geekery on October. So it's Paper Birds. It's it's the whole book that has like 10 birds you can pop out and make with paper. We have a bluebird, we have a hummingbird, parrots, uh, cockabrews, we have flamingos. Like, yeah, you can read the entire review here. I'll post the link to the review down in the comment section below. And it's currently available. The next book that I read is A Matter of Courage by J.C. Long. This is book two in his Hong Kong Nights book, Nights book series. Again, I read it in September, wrote the review of, for it for the Geek Theory in October. So yeah, it's an enjoyable series, especially if you like layered male characters and also if you want to know about the story that takes place Hong Kong as its backdrop. So yeah, it's fun. And I'll leave the link to the review for this down in the comment section below. It's currently available for purchase. The red was DC Comics, Awesome Activities for Superheroes. It was sent to me by Downton Bookworks. And again, an awesome little read if you are into drawings and uh, little codes, breaking codes. And all of this is DC themed. It's available for pre-order and it will be released sometime in on October 10th. So yeah, the next book that I read was Dolly by E.M. Hamel. I also interviewed her. So the link in the comment section below. And I also did a whole review of this. And the link to the review will also be down in the comment section below. So yeah, it's a queer sci-fi if you are into world building and action and mystery. So yeah, it's Again, it's our purchase, so make sure that you do if you are into queer sci-fi books. Yeah, that's that for me for my September 2017 comic book and book wrap-up. And feel free to share your thoughts. And until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.